Excel is not just good for handling numbers, but for text as well. And I've got four examples here that could be useful where we've got text functions built into Excel. It's quite possible you might want to extract some letters from or characters from the left hand side of say a string of characters. So it could be a serial number and you can see in this one UK might be indicating the country that it's from such as the UK. Same in this one except you might want to take how many characters from the right hand side. Or it could be like in this case that GB there stands for Great Britain and it might be pick, you want to pick up those there and then be able to test whether or not that where it's actually from or sort by it there's very lots of different reasons really and over here I've got one where I've got my name and I've got a space here and I want to find out at what point that space is so you might be looking for a particular character in a particular place and at what position it's at okay let's start with this one so these work the same on all versions of Excel and they're basically broken down these first three here into left to find the how many characters from the left hand side right and then mid for this one here so let's start with left I'm going to click on my insert function here and up comes my insert function box I could type in left press enter and there it is over there or I could have gone to my text functions here scroll down to find left and then pressed OK. So the text is this bit of text here. I'm just going to click on it and you can see it pops that bit in. It always assumes you want at least one character so it's got that U there. So you're going to tell it how many characters you want. So if I want two I just press two. See it pops up with UK there. If three and so on but it's two that I want. It's uh, not bolded here so if you just left it blank it would just assume that it's the first character. Click on OK. Now the right works in a similar way so I'm just going to click in here and press insert function. I'm going to stay in this uh, text category here. I can scroll down. You'll see there's quite a few here. I can go to right and you'll see that if I now click on OK, very similar to the last one. I've got to fill in that text box. Always assumes at least one character so it's got K there. If I type in two it pulls out UK. OK, so I'm just going to click on OK for that. For this one, which is mid, I'm just going to go into insert function. And for this one, I'm finding some characters in the middle of it, which is mid. So I'm just going to choose that and I'm just going to click on OK. A little bit different. So the text is that bit of text there, which we'll just choose that one first. The start number is what character you want it to start from. So you can see it's actually this one here, this G is the fourth character along. So I'm just going to type in four. And how many characters do I want? Well, I want two. And it doesn't assume one, two or three in this one. You have to fill it in. So there you go. It's coming up with GB. OK, so this one here is one that I want to find a particular bit of text. And in this case, it's where is the space in here. Now this one is useful because if you have a look at another example I've got which is splitting the first name and surname and I've got the link below here if you're looking on YouTube or if you're looking on my website www.jargonfreehelp.com look in Excel and you'll see an example of splitting first and last names. So I do it using this particular function. This is one of them anyway and it is called find. So you might be looking for a particular bit of text and that it's in the right place. So click on OK, find text. Well, I've got to put it in quotes. So it's just a space. So I've just done two quotes and a space. Within which text? Well, it's this text here. And it wants to know what point you want to start searching. Well, number one, but it's defaulting to number one anyway. And it's telling me that that space is in position number five, which is absolutely correct. So if I click on OK, there you go. So some other ones that might be useful is another one I'm just going to add in here, which is determining how many characters are in there, so the length of that string of characters. This one can be really useful because you might be looking down there thinking, actually, there's a problem with that serial number. It doesn't have the right amount of characters in it. It might be too few or too many. 
So if I go insert function, you'll see I have got one here called len for length. Click on OK. Really simple one. All you've got to do is click on that and it'll tell you that there's seven characters in there. So if it was something like a credit card, which would have a 16 digit number, if it wasn't 16 digits, you'd know something was wrong. OK, so that's a really good use for it. What about if I want to put this into uppercase? Well, there's one for that as well. If I go insert function and you'll see if I scroll right down, there's one here for upper. This works exactly the same way as another one, which is over here, which is lower, which puts it all into lowercase and proper turns it into proper, which has got a capital letter at the beginning of every uh, word. OK, so let me go back down to the upper, because once you know this one, you'll know it works the same for all the others. Only one thing to choose, and you can see they're already showing Gary Schwartz, all capitals. Click on OK. So there are some of the text functions, some of the more useful ones, many, many uses. So go and try them out if you do have to do a lot of things with text.